All right, friends, the big reveal. Here we are. So it's a new zero turn mower. I got a Arians Icon XD. This model has a 52 inch cut, it has a 23 horsepower Kawasaki gasoline engine. It does have the power bagging system and you know, it looks nice so far. I'm anxious to try it out. I'm really excited that I got it. Uh, I did end up selling a couple of my older tractors partly to help pay for this, partly to make more room. Uh, I'm still gonna use quite a few of them, but this is gonna be my main mower, I think, in the future. It's gonna be a little faster, give me more time to work on other stuff, like making YouTube videos and things of that nature, but I'm anxious to try it out. So, Arians and Gravely are kind of co-owned. I think Arians bought Gravely a while back, maybe in the mid to late 1980s. So. They make, one of them makes the other's mower. I'm not sure if Arians makes Gravely or Gravely makes Arians, but this model is kind of what you'd call a heavy duty residential model. It's a lot higher end than some of the stuff I looked at at the box stores. They just, the box store mo zero turns I looked at just looked cheap and junky. I don't want to get into brands and start knocking brands, but they just weren't up to what I typically buy. I would actually prefer to buy even heavier duty than this. I would prefer something like a Gravely HD, which is the same as the Arians Apex, but by the time you get the power bagger and everything, you're talking another $2,800 to $3,000 all set up. And I just, unfortunately, I can't justify that extra cost when I'm only mowing my own lawn, which is roughly an acre and a quarter, maybe an acre and a half, or it could be an acre and a half if I expanded it a little bit. But if I was doing commercial lawns and running a business, I would absolutely have went with the Apex or the Gravely HD. But for what I'm doing, I think this is gonna be a really nice mower. It's gonna be a nice size. I'm really, really excited and I'm happy I bought it. I actually met a friend up at the place I bought it, which for anyone who's interested, it's Fairbanks, it's in Fitchburg, Mass. Um, those guys were really good to work with. They were willing to work with me on the price, which is Something I can't say for some of the other dealers I called. Um, the, he really, the owner, Phil, really seems to know his stuff. I was pretty impressed. He gave me this nice Arians hooded sweatshirt to wear. It's a little hot today, but will come in handy in the fall when I'm doing leaf cleanup, which is one of the reasons I wanted the power backer. And yeah, I mean, out the door with tax and everything and the power backer included, it was $4,675, so. I don't know if that's good or bad. I guess it might depend on your area of the country, but I can tell you the last year or so with COVID, stuff has really gone up in price. Um, anything to do with steel, especially or electronic components. I priced out dump trailers. I was gonna, I was thinking about getting one and they went up like two grand in the last year. So I'm sure these mowers have gone up also. And not only that, they're hard to get. A lot of places, aren't, they don't have any in stock. So you can't even look at them or sit on them or do anything like that and a lot of them have been telling me we'll have one in a few weeks or a few months so we don't know when they're gonna get them but open Fairbanks they had a whole bunch of them and it was nice to actually physically see them and be able to look at them and try them out a little bit so the friend I met up there actually ended up buying an Apex which is the next model up from this so that was cool we were able to give them some good business in one day he's having his delivered which I probably should have done but it was nice to meet up with an old friend and catch up. We had a little breakfast and we had a good time. But uh, let's try it out. Uh, let me just give a disclaimer that I've never operated a zero turn before today. I am excited. This is my first Arians, my first zero turn, my first Kawasaki engine. So three firsts in one day. So it might take me a few minutes to get used to it, but let's give it a whirl.
what do I think so far? Well, so far I like it. I mean, it's a lot different than a ride-on mower or a garden tractor with a steering wheel and four normal tires. So it takes a little getting used to, but in the half hour or 40 minutes or so I was using it, I was able to get the hang of it a lot better by the end. I felt a lot more comfortable. Learned a couple of little things. You know, obviously you can't take the turns too sharp or you'll tear up the grass. And, you know, I really like the height adjustment on it. I like the fact that it can go faster than a garden tractor and still mow and leave a nice cut because it has faster blade tip speed on the mower deck. But I can see why it would be faster than a regular tractor. And I think I'm gonna really like this. I'm looking forward to keeping it for a long time, getting some good use out of it. I think Mrs. build a Lot's gonna have a lot easier time using this than tinkering with the older tractors, which I'm still gonna use for other jobs and backup mowers, but this is gonna be my main mower for now on. So I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. I plan to do future videos on the Icon XD52, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for joining.